Hello everyone, my name is HyoTruber and today I'm walking you guys through how to fix the game out of memory error in your GTA 5. So if you guys really want to support my channel, then make sure when you're watching right now, just to drop a like, comment or subscription to my channel. It just means the world to me, it makes me want to make more videos, it makes me want to upload more, it just gives me a lot more... A lot more... It makes me... gives me a lot more effort to do the YouTube videos. So if you guys are finding the videos useful or you are enjoying the live streams then make sure you do so first thing as always you want to do is you want to go down in the description below and that will bring you right here to the first mod which is going to be the pack file limit adjuster and within the pack file limit adjuster this is one of the three files we are going to install to make sure that your game will never crash again from adding mods to it and will never give you that error of the game out of memory so these are pretty simple installs, so what you want to do is hit download on this one, download again, now whilst that is downloading, bring up your GTA 5 main directory which will be in whatever drive you've installed it on, and then program files 86, steam or rockstar games, cmaps, and common, then choose your GTA 5 folder that you want to mod, you should always have a backup as you guys probably know. And there you guys go, there's your GTA 5 main directory. Then open the file, write your main directory again, and you see these .inies and the .asis. All you want to do is highlight these two here. Don't highlight the README as dragging that in might just mess up your game as it's going to try to read it as some sort of command when it's not actually. So all you guys want to do is just drag it onto the box, the grey box square area, rectangle area here. So just highlight, drag and drop, make sure nothing is highlighted here, otherwise it's going to suck it up and it won't work. So just drag and drop. Now guys, what you want to do is you can close out that download and you want to go on to the next one, which is going to be the next link down in the description below. This is going to be the heap of Juster. This is the same kind of thing, just making sure your game will never crash or your game will never give you that error. Click download and download again that install. This is pretty much the same sort of download. Click open file. You have the INI and the ASI again. Highlight these two. Drag and drop. There you guys go. And the last thing you want to do is going to be run through OpenIV. Ran through OpenIV. Just open up your OpenIV. And download the other one whilst that's doing so. As you can see here, this is for limitless vehicles, limitless mod, uh, modded maps and things like that. This is just making sure that you can add as many mods to your game as you want. As long as they're stable, it won't crash your game. So now open up your OpenIV, go to Windows. That will start up for you here. Now that that is started up for you, you want to go into your Mods folder. And you want to go Update x64 data no, excuse me you want to go update x64 here no excuse me you want to go update update to rpf common data and now here is your here is your few folders here and this is where you're going to want to drag the download you've just installed here the game config bring out your open IV bring out your download Double click on GTA 5 Convig for version 2, 21, version or 4, version and then the version of the game. Uh, if you are watching this video later on, like quite a while later on, and there, you know there's been a GTA 5 update, then make sure you are installing the newest config for your game. But it will be the same principle of installing it. Double click on that. You want to make sure you are choosing the highest times you can get, just to make your game a little bit more stable. And now all you want to do is go into edit mode like so, drag and drop. There you guys go, you have now successfully should have fixed your GTA 5 error memory error and random GTA 5 crashes. If it hasn't, make sure you comment down below and I can help you guys out. And if it has, make sure you comment down below as well. But you can also like the video, dislike the video if you found it wasn't useful. I don't mind. I like the feedback either way. And obviously, if you guys want to support me, make sure you hit that subscription button. There will be a live stream coming out very soon. But I'm really, really trying to sort out these live stream issues. Which, as you guys saw on the last live stream, didn't go very well. 
purely because of the frame rate loss and it was just horrible. So if you guys did find this video useful, thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next one.